So here's eddy current levitation, or an induction, or Lenz law. So I have a coil of wire there, and I'll put an aluminum plate over it. Coil of wire has AC current flowing through it, so it makes a magnetic field, induces current in the aluminum plate, and makes it float. So this is a lot like an induction cooktop, with one key difference. The wire, which is wrapped in yellow tape there, is wound one direction for the inside part of the coil and the opposite direction for the outside, which concentrates the field right along there and makes a stable pocket for the disc to float in. Now, there isn't any damping, so it'll bounce around and ring nicely. It also gets quite hot while it's up there because of the current flowing through it. So, put a couple drops of water on there. Even starting to boil. So that's floating you know, about a centimeter off of the field and get the camera down where you can see that there really is air space underneath there. Now this is a millimeter and a half thick, roughly, uh, aluminum disc. If we put a lighter one on there, then it'll float higher. So here's about a tenth millimeter. This is the bottom of a disposable aluminum pie tin. Then we get a lot higher, about three centimeters or so here. And roll over the right way around. Yeah, just over three centimeters. the camera. Well, I guess you can already see the airspace underneath that. And if we go all the way down to aluminum foil, which is about 22 microns thick in this case, get just slightly higher. So around three and a half centimeters. And the aluminum foil gets hot too, and it's you know reasonably stable. Of course, if I push it far enough, it'll fall off the edge. Now, one more thing interesting to show here. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. If I have a piece of aluminum that I intentionally tore. So it floats a little lopsided. But here, if I push down on it enough, you can see it glowing a little bit red hot and the aluminum melts a little bit. And I don't want to do that too much because I don't want to get it down to where it'll damage my coil. So that's induction heating. It's actually making the aluminum glow there. And I think that will get it off the coil at this point. So there is my induction levitator. Go back to the 10th millimeter foil. It's because that's the most interesting one. And there you can. See it floating and it's you know, reasonably stable as well. Whoops, but you push it too much and it does fall off.